Carrie Lake's lawyers had a disciplinary hearing last week in front of a uh, judge. And of course the state bar of Arizona is trying to get two attorneys, Brian Blim, who is a divorce attorney that Carrie Lake hired to do his, uh, do her election challenges along with a man by the name of Kurt Olson, who is actually an employment lawyer who Lake also hired to file her election challenges. And according to the complaint against these two individuals, which was determined by another court, the two men lied in their court filings when they said that it is quote, undisputed fact that more than 35,000 falsified ballots were illegally inserted, blah, 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 during the 2022 gubernatorial election in Arizona. And in making that determination previously, the courts actually sanctioned Carrie Lake and the two lawyers. They had to pay $2,000. So not a big sanction, but the state bar was not done with these two men and they held their hearing last week. The only problem is Brian Blem did not show up. No, Mr. Blem decided he wasn't going to be there because according to him, he had some personal business he had to attend to in Colorado personal business that of course just happened to be at the same time that that court hearing took place. How inconvenient for him that he couldn't move his personal business to a different day. But here's where it gets even funnier. He actually did email the courts to let them know that he wasn't going to be there, but he didn't email the actual email address that they had given him to give updates on anything that needed to be discussed. Instead, uh, he sent an email and he copied a court employee who actually happens to be on leave. So they didn't get the message because he didn't follow the procedures, but they went ahead with the hearing anyway. And the state bar recommended a suspension of Mr. Blem for six months and one day. And more on that in a minute, because that is actually a pretty significant punishment. But I want to talk for a second about how Mr. Blem responded to all of this because on his way either to or from Colorado, he pulls his car over on the side of the road, records a video of himself where he says this, <laughs> the state bar of Arizona seeks to use my own words against me. Yeah. I mean, I mean, right off the bat, that actually sounds like an admission. How dare you use my words against me? Um, yeah, that happens, bud. But he continued, they found me guilty without a trial and expect me to sit down and shut the F up. At one time, the bar association supported free speech. They do not like that. I refuse to bend and kiss the ring. If it is my dignity, they are after they have knocked on the wrong door. As I have said repeatedly, in so very many other circumstances, don't ever in, uh, antagonize or piss off the people who hold your fate in their hands. 100% of the time, that is going to be a very stupid decision. And here he is saying, I'm not going to kiss the ring of the bar. Legally speaking, you have to, as a lawyer, like you don't get the option to ignore what the bar tells you. Every state bar has different rules. I know I've worked in a law firm for 20 years now and you can't go against the bar. You will lose your license. So you do have to kiss the ring and you sitting there defiantly in your car on the side of the road is not going to do you any favors there, bud. But as I mentioned, they are seeking a suspension of six months and one day. And that one day, is actually super important because if a lawyer gets disbarred for six months or less, once their time of being, you know, temporarily suspended from practicing law is over, they're automatically reinstated. If it's more than six months, as in six months in one day, they're not automatically reinstated. They actually have to go through a hearing process to determine whether or not they can get their law license back in that state. So that's a big, big problem for Blem because if this suspension does go through and it has not been a, a made official yet, but if it does, he will have to go through hearings and tell the court like, oh, I've learned a lesson. Oh, I'm not the same guy. I'm a good guy now. Go ahead and give me my law license back. And then they're probably going to play that clip of him on the side of the road and be like, yeah, 
we're going to go ahead and deny this, but thanks for asking anyway. So if this suspension goes through, it's probably going to last a little bit longer than six months and one day. And Mr. Blim may have to pack up his divorce law practice and head to a new state and make a new go at it. Hey everybody. I don't know if you've noticed this, but we are closing in on a pretty major milestone here at fair and balanced as we approach 500,000 subscribers, but we're not there yet. And we definitely need your support. So if you're not already, please do subscribe to the channel and don't forget like and comment on the videos and share them as widely as possible.